Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mick. This is my very first YouTube video. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do YouTube. I just have never taken the leap before. But here we are. I'm doing it. I said, F what everyone else thinks. <laughs> but I grew a pair and we're doing it. And today I have something really fun and exciting to share with everyone. Um, I think you can tell by the title of this video what is going to happen. But I have a couple of things to unbox with you and it's kind of like a little unboxing slash haul video that we're going to be doing. So yeah, let's just get on into it. So a little backstory before we unbox everything. I was not one of those people who was into Loungefly. I was definitely kind of a hater before I found any that I loved. And when I found them, that was kind of a catalyst for buying a bunch of them. And I just recently followed them on Instagram and I saw Ilana and Tiff Mink um, do a little live for, you know, their page. And now with their new Peter Pan collection coming out, I'm gonna need to get a couple of things. So maybe that'll be a video soon if I do end up getting them. But <clears throat> yeah, so I was a hater. I'll be the first one to admit it. I did not understand the hype. I was like, I will never buy one of those bags. And here we are, I have two to one box and actually two on the way. <laughs> so needless to say, I am now hooked. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's just get on into the unboxing. So I haven't opened these boxes yet. These are still sealed. I haven't opened them. I don't know. I mean, I know what's inside, but I haven't seen them in person. I've only seen pictures. This one is the first one I ever bought. So this is my very first Loungefly. You're about to see my very first reaction, my very first ever Loungefly of what I'm sure is going to turn into a huge collection. Hopefully not that big, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna open the box. Be very careful that I don't slash into the actual bag. Nervous. Okay, opening it up. Let's remove the paper. I don't wanna look because I wanna get it out for all of us to see together. It's wrapped up, so here it is. All wrapped up nice. It's so cool. Oh, let me actually look at it. Wow. Yeah, this is really awesome. So if you couldn't already tell, this is a Hercules um, inspired lounge fly bag. <clears throat> oh God, there's so much detail. I love, love, love it. So here we have Herc, Hercules fighting the Hydra. Of course, look at him with his little muscles. I love that, that detail and it's like shiny too. There's even some shiny little detailing on the Hydra. And then we have this amazing um, embroidery detail right above the zipper. Online, this little, um, what would you call this? This trim kind of looked like a maroon color, but in person it's more of a like chocolatey brown color. And then of course, under the zipper, we have the Bad B Muses. I love them. They're like the best part of the movie. And see, like they, Loungefly, Loungefly pays so much attention to detail. Like they didn't have to put this little border around the Muses and they didn't have to outline all of them in gold. Sorry, my cat is messing with the wrapping. He loves plastic bags. No, we're not gonna mess with that. But anyway, they pay so much attention to detail. Like they outline the muses in gold. They did this little trim detail. Is Herc outlined in gold? No, he's just got some details. Um, <clears throat> and then on the zipper pull, we have Loungefly. <laughs> Where's my 
cat in the corner. <laughs> um, but we've got this like antique or aged looking metal here. And then, oh, we've got that chocolatey trim on the bottom and the handle on top. Even the trim around the zipper, the side zipper, is that chocolate brown. And then here, of course, we have the Disney Loungefly plaque, just in black. And see, they didn't have to add this side detailing, this, uh, what is it, embroidery detailing, to kind of frame that plaque. They didn't need to add that, but they did because they pay attention to detail. And then we turn the bag around and of course it says zero to hero because Herc was zero and then he became a hero, you know? And I just love that text. It's the font is so cool. And of course we have our padded straps because we don't want these, to, these straps to cut into our arms when we're at the theme parks, right? And I love this little strap detail. It totally goes with the theme of Hercules. We have that aged metal here again. And like I said, we have that strap to hold at the top. Yeah, this bag is so sick. And I, I, okay, again, I'm new to the lounge fly like team, but I've never seen another lounge fly bag with this sort of aged leather material before. It's so cute, I love it. It kind of matches. I could do a Hercules, I could do a Hercules Disney bound for my vacation. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, okay, let's open it up because I know that this has a cool lining. All of Loungefly's bags usually have a really awesome lining. Yep, it does, okay. So, Again, this seller included the paper, which I love, so that the bag really holds its shape. I'm going to try to show this to you without bending anything. Maybe I have to take some of the paper out. I just don't want to bend the front of the bag. Alright. Yeah. So this, this pattern is really awesome, and it's kind of what sold me and what made me go, oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to have this bag. I need to buy it. So... Here is the inner lining. It's got the clouds and then we've got the lightning bolt because you know, Zeus is Hercules' dad. So we have to have some lightning in there. I just love that lining. It's just a black background with the swirly clouds and the gold lightning bolt. And what's really cool about those clouds is that um, the reason why that sold me and not the bag as a whole, but I design earrings here and there, um, and I designed a pair of earrings that look exactly like that, um, like those clouds, like the swirls and everything. It's kind of crazy. And before I ever found out about lounge, or not found out, but before I ever, you know, wanted to get a lounge fly or knew about this bag, I designed those earrings for a collection I was gonna do, and. Yeah, so when I saw that inner lining, I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be my bag. So that's what sold me, and that's what started this crazy obsession that I have. I've been watching every video of people's hauls and their collections, and let me tell you, you think getting two bags or four or probably five that I'm going to get is a lot, but these people have like 30 plus lounge flies, and that's amazing. I'm not judging you. I'm jealous, um, but yeah, anyway. This is the Hercules inspired lounge fly. So amazing. I love every detail about this. And it still has the tags, which is awesome. So yeah, that's the first one. <gasps> I'm so excited. And moving right along to the next bag. This bag I saw um, just while scrolling through Mercari, I was just looking after I had bought that Hercules bag. I was like, hmm, what else can I find? Um, and I found this bag. I love this movie and I don't want to give it away. I just want to show you what it is. So again, I have not opened this box yet. All right, let's open this one on up. All right, here we go. The next bag. Take it out together. Try not to look too hard at it. 
before I get it out. Here it is. Take the bubble wrap off. All right. Ah. <laughs> Here it is. Here she is. Love. I freaking love this bag. If you don't know already, this is Alice in Wonderland inspired. There she is, little Miss Alice in the field of talking flowers. This is my, probably my favorite scene in the entire movie of Alice in Wonderland. Um, the talking flowers is just, it's the best part. They're so brutal to her, which I kind of love, but yeah, this bag is beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to talk about in the Hercules bag, that one does not have side pockets, but this one does, which I love that. It's a very simple bag. I mean, it's not simple, it's crazy, but it's not as detailed, I guess, you could say, as the Hercules one. Um, this is just an AOP, an all over print bag. We've got all our talking flowers, we've got Alice, and we've got the little Cheshire face peeking out of the dark right there, which I love. Um, really nice sized front pocket. Um, yeah, love that. The zipper pull, again, says lounge fly on it, and it's just silver metal. We've got the black trim, and this one has the lounge fly Disney logo on the front, just with a black background. Yeah, this one's really cute. Like I said, this one has side pockets to hold your phone or whatever. And then our padded straps, which we love. And on the back, you can see that all over print in more detail. I love that it doesn't scream Disney and it doesn't scream Alice. You kind of have to know, you know, the movie to get it. Unless you're looking really hard and you spot Alice. And I love that she's just kind of like, oh, oh, what is that? Love the little Cheshire's peeking out of there. So yeah, this one's pretty simple. Simple, if you consider a crazy colored all over print simple, but let's take a look inside. Again, they filled it with the paper for me. Oh, perfect. This one's just a simple, um, what is that? Is that, it looks like a, it almost looks like a forest green stripe print. So pretty simple, but you know, the outside's kind of crazy enough. You don't need a crazy lining in the inside. So yeah, this is the Alice bag. And I think these two are the same size. Yep, they're the same size. This one's got a little bit of a rounder shape to it. I love these so much. <laughs> it makes me so happy to have these in my collection now because I'm a lounge fly collector. <laughs> no, but seriously, these are amazing and I'm so grateful to the two sellers on Mercari for packing them up really nicely and honestly giving me a steal on both of these bags because you go on Mercari and a lot of the discontinued, or whatever you wanna call it, lounge fly bags are upwards of $100 and that's a lot of money for a bag. And I get it, they're, you know, they don't make them anymore and they're kind of rare, but I'm not about to spend $100 on a bag. But that being said, thank you to those sellers who gave me a really good price um, on both of these bags because now I get to bask in their beauty. But yeah, so these are the two bags. I love them so much. And this was super fun. I don't know why it took me so long to grow a pair and make a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more from me, like this video and don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, I don't know. This is fun and it's a cool outlet for me to be creative and share more of me and more of my likes. And even if one person just watches my videos and finds joy or entertainment that would make me super super happy so yeah thank you again for 
sticking around and watching this video. It was super fun to film and if you want to see any more unboxings or any other ideas you may have for me to film, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you or I'll try to comment back. Um, but yeah, this is super fun and I'm so excited for this new journey on YouTube. I have a lot of things in mind. I'm into a lot of different things, not just Disney and bags. Um, and hopefully you'll get to see that a lot more if you stick around and I would love to have you and your presence on my channel. So again, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big like if you enjoyed it and subscribe, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.